Arriving in the Dales last year, spoilt brat. I'm sorry to say that. I know, that, why are we still sorry. bad saying that? Maisie Wilde has certainly lived up to her surname, but her recent exploits are a whole different kettle of fish. What on earth have you been getting up to? Have you slept with him? No, <laughs> she hasn't! Why the hell should I sleep with who I want? Because he's your brother. What are you doing? Please, Ryan. No! It's, it's disgusting! Ryan! <laughs> drunk. Who are you calling drunk? I want to die! I want to die! Can I have a talk? I'm giving you some proper help. There's only one thing I want. I know what I'd like. For us to get to know each other as brother and sister. Oh my goodness! Well, uh, actress uh, Alice Coulthard, who plays Maisie, is uh, is here with us now. I mean, let's not talk about her for a moment. Let's talk about you, because I would have thought that 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 intensive period of filming must take it out of anybody. Yeah, it does. I mean, especially I guess in a soap, because you're it's ongoing, so mm. it's not kind of like you're, you're doing a month's filming or whatever, and it's over at the end of that. Yeah. It's kind of quite a long storyline. So um, yeah, it totally did take it out of me because I was crying. She had, she had to go through kind of so many different stages in the storyline. So mm. I was crying like every day. Every day I'd pick up my scripts for the next day, and well, I'd get home having been crying all day, pick up my scripts the next day, and be like, "Oh God, I'm crying Another again day all crying. day tomorrow." And does so that take its toll on you, though? I mean, do you yeah, kind it of... does. Yeah, it does really. It does really stress you out. Um, and my body started reacting to it. Like my hair was breaking and my nails were breaking and things because I think your body, if you're crying every day. Mm. Your body thinks that you are actually kind you of trick going. It. Well, you're probably dehydrated. Trauma. Yeah, yeah. With all yeah. that water that you're losing. <laughs> yeah. Although, I, although I was meant to be an alcoholic, and I was, so I was what, becoming an alcoholic. So I was drinking, meant to be drinking vodka all day, but I was actually drinking water all day. Oh, were you? So that was quite a good way of rehydrating. Uh, my... True. And so getting home. What about your your boyfriend, your bloke? He must have. Uh, it must have been tough for him. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's it's hard. It was hard for him because. Um, your, emotion, your emotions have to be kind of up here all mm. the time mm. because yeah. you need to have easy access to them. And so after a whole day of filming something where you're crying and you're on edge, I'd go home and just at the slightest little thing. I mean, I'm quite an emotional person anyway. Oh, are you? Yeah. <laughs> so that so must have made it even... to it anyway. <laughs> maybe not quite to the extent that I want to. Um, I mean, it, sh it must be a kind of actress's dream to be in the middle of one of these huge storylines. And for Emmerdale, this was a huge storyline and a sensitive storyline as well. I mean, one that we sort of haven't seen before in one of the soaps. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it was definitely something that needed to be dealt with sensitively, especially because um, falling in love with a sibling or it, 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 it ha does actually happen to people. Yeah. It's quite a common thing to it happen. And so I'd read about it before. And so obviously. You know, I wanted the storyline to be dealt with sensitively. Yes. You know. um, well, the sad thing is that for her, I mean, she is wild, and uh, and she, you know, certainly made her mark very quickly when she uh, when she arrived. Um, but she did feel that this sort of was the one, didn't she? Yeah, and she, th for her, that was very significant because she was because she was so wild before, and she was quite flighty, shall we say? Mm. Yeah. Um, and kind of just having fun and not really. You know, wasn't really interested in anybody for in, in the long haul kind mm. of thing. Um, so yeah, this was like a really, really big deal for her. And also, she, he was going out with her friend Katie as well. Yeah. So <laughs> she betrayed her friend, but she wasn't trying to be nasty by doing that. She was really, you know, completely head over heels. Yeah. And so she sort of that. had to hit rock bottom really with, with her father losing her friend, losing this person who she thought was in love with and finding out that it was in fact her brother but it's sort of like now there's a bit of a light at the end of the tunnel or after hitting that rock bottom she's sort of starting a new relationship with Ryan and that's one of her brother and sister and you can sort of feel like she's sort of hit rock bottom but come back round again and she's yeah. almost a better person for oh, it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean I think she'd she was she was a sport brat before and nothing bad had ever happened to her really in her life. She'd had it all very easy. So this was, you know, huge thing for her well kind of sequence of mm. events for her to go through but because she'd been so spoiled and she'd never had to have any responsibility before she was quite selfish yeah. so I think 
now she's not going to be able to be quite so quite Well, she's sort of been, she's quite good at counselling him, really, isn't she? I mean, she, that, yeah. that's, what she's, that's what she's now ended up doing. Yeah, and I think that's, that's a great thing for her to be able to do because she's never kind of worried, if she's, you know, as I say, quite selfish before and never really worried about anybody else. But now she's been able to take the kind of hmm. responsible role in because she's been through the counselling and kind of helping him through. We've got to, we've actually got a clip of, of, uh, of, of her, we keep saying her, her, you, uh, <laughs> yeah, coming, yeah. Out, coming out of rehab. Here you go. Mum? Maisie! Oh, sweetheart, it's so lovely to have you home. Oh, if you're that <laughs> pleased to see me, why did she bring me home? I don't expect gratitude. Thanks, Nicola. I'm sorry, we had estate business to discuss. Who's this? Hey! If you want to make yourself useful, my bags are in the car. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's really good to see you. I've got so much to tell you. Yes, no, we certainly haven't well, even touched hmm, that, have we? No. Because uh, she may very well be getting her relationship with her half-brother under some sort of semblance of order, but, uh, but, but what about the mother? And what about she was a daddy's girl? Yeah. She still she thinks is. she is a daddy's girl, although she's not quite sure where he is, mm. but we know where he is. Mm. Yeah, I mean, um... I think she's had always had quite a rocky relationship with her mother Natasha as well. Um, so, but I think I think maybe this has kind of been good for their relationship in a sense because well for now I, yeah. I mean when it all when eventually if it comes out which I suspect it will I sort of worry that maybe for Maisie it's all going to go the other way again. Yeah, I mean I we I, I don't know when that's coming out. For, for Maisie to find out, you yeah. know, what's, what's actually what, happened. That her father's buried in the woods. Yeah, no, that's... That um, her mother killed him as he was going off with uh, his original woman. Don't tell her! <laughs> I know. You don't know any God, of this I'm stuff? I'm just the last Are you not aware of any of this <laughs> going on? <laughs> I mean, I've got to tell you, you're in for a rough time. <laughs> no! God, I thought I've had it bad already. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, uh, and when is... You're getting married, aren't you? When are you, when are you fitting all that in real life? That's in July, In it? July, yeah, I'm getting married oh. in July. And um, yeah, I mean, my storyline's kind of cal my filming schedule's calmed down a bit now, mm. so oh, I can actually because I just couldn't even yeah. think about. It. People kept on asking me, "How are your wedding plans going?" And I'd just I be like, oh, "Don't talk to me about it because I haven't done anything yet." Well, you've got time um, for that. Thank you yeah. for coming in today. It's lovely. Thank you, to see you. Thank, thank you, you very much. Great pleasure. Thank you. Got Sharon Osborne tomorrow. See you then. Take care. Bye.